couple of years ago, we went out to change a light bulb in the original Golden Gate Bridge fixture. And when we got there, uh, we opened up the ballast compartment and things started falling apart <laughs> and in our hands, literally. And then we realized that changing the light bulb wasn't going to be enough, that this fixture needed some extensive care that it was actually rotting off the pole and it was going to fall down. So we took the fixture down and we brought the fixture to Archie Webb. Jim McKnight had brought me the last original bridge light from 1937 and uh, had brought it back to my stall and asked me if I was able to repair it. So a couple of days went by and I was thinking about uh, how I'd go about repairing it and I had taken the light apart and in doing that it continue to fall apart into pieces. So he came back and was talking to me about it and I told him that actually I just remanufactured the whole thing. It was actually a blessing that they had taken the light down when they did because they had given me enough light to I could, that when I took it apart I could make templates of all the original pieces and then I made the whole light out of aluminum. There was one original remaining template piece left on the light and that had um, the original GE logo stamped in it and I was able to restore that piece and save it and it still remains on the light but everything else that is on that light was manufactured in the shop. So the bulb is special because it is a low pressure sodium bulb which actually when they fire up they're kind of unique because they glow red and then as they heat up the gas inside it turns more of an orangish type of light and then it similarly matches the high pressure sodiums that were the replacement after all the low pressure sodium fixtures but they were actually the originals from 1937. We're all proud of uh, um, what we perform here and what we do. It's part of the history and that, that light was the original light from when they actually built this bridge so you know, there's only one left, so why wouldn't we want to at least preserve one, you know? Pride in workmanship, pride in craftsmanship, and being able to fix something that old and keep it going. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's better than new, I think. And I think it'll probably last longer than the original. <laughs>